So we're going to be covering this shot across multiple tutorials. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. We're going to focus on the flight path for this one. Now we've got our ship here. I'm just in material mode. And obviously you've probably seen the animation, but we want it to come in and then kind of hover a little bit and then land. Beautiful. Cursor World Origin. I am just going to put in a floor plane just so we can have a plane to land on. Then I'm going to come in, select my armature, and then let's kind of work out this, how I'm going to do it. So first up, let's go to frame zero down the bottom. And we're going to go probably from about here, might go into solid mode to make life a little bit easier. And I'm going to have it pre coming into land. So let's go I to set a location and rotation. And then about frame 400, let's just do an Alt G, Alt R to reset the rotation and location, GZ. This is where it's going to land. I, location, rotation. And so now if we kind of come in and we have a look, this is our animation. whoop de doo So from here, probably about frame 200, we'll bring it up to about here. And then it's really slamming on the brakes. <laughs> I want to go a little bit over the top. Um, I reckon we could probably move it forward some more. Now I'm going to show you some built-in tools in a sec that's going to help with this. But for now, we're just going to focus on getting a nice landing path. Look, that's fairly straightforward right now. The landing let's work on. So the way I do this is obviously at this point, it just kind of slams down. Done. I will grab our end frame, shift D to duplicate, and let's go back 40 frames. So it actually lands about here. But what I like to do is actually put it about here. Let's just hover it to about there. I location rotation. If you get sick of pressing the I key, we can always press auto record just down here. And then we've now got comes in. It's really breaking. There we go. So I think it's coming down way too fast here. So let's maybe select probably about here. And I'm going to just scale by 1.5. So it's already got some speed as it comes in, slowing down. And then, yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of trial and error till we get this right. Excellent, let's just increase the frames to about 500. And we're just gonna focus on the landing now. Even that's a little bit too hard. So let's go Shift D and duplicate this, bring it out. And this frame here, 450, just raise it up a little bit higher. I location rotation so that we're going to have really slows down jeez there we go slow it down buddy so i do like that however we're kind of guessing what the trajectory is like but the cool thing is we can actually click on object data come down into motion paths now I'm just going to set the whole scene frame range. Let's go calculate in range. Yes, please. And now we've kind of got a dotted line to show how fast it's going to be moving in between frames. Now there's plenty of dots here. So let's maybe increase the step to five. So now it's going to give us a dot for every five frames. And there we go. We can see here. Cool. And then it slows right down. And that's kind of what we want. We want big steps and then coming down into little steps. Excellent. Perfect. Love it. Looks great. However, it looks kind of bland because I'm planning on having the camera maybe here-ish as it comes down. We want to kind of give it as if it's a bit of a gust of wind. So what I'm going to do is let's come into front view and we're just going to kind of just move it randomly around. As it's as if it's kind of like winds blowing it here and there. Because uh, I haven't actually done the animation yet, but the plan is, is to have a bit of um, flags in the background to show that it's windy. And I'm just kind of like, yeah, just moving it around. And then it just kind of lands like that. Yes. So if we now come into perspective mode, I'm going to add in a camera, shift A, throw in that camera, 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 camera. There we go. Let's get into our view. Now I can press control 
Alt Numpad 0 and that will set the camera to my current view. Um, I've got it set as a square probably because I was probably because I was going to do something for the Insta. So we'll keep it as is. All right, so just fixing up the camera, that's probably where I want it to go. And then let's kind of follow it around. Oh, look at that. It's almost like you're directly under it. And then just kind of giving a bit of a follow as it's coming in. So as it's coming in, I'm being very loose with the camera because it's as if someone's filming with their like phone or something is what I'm going for. Nice. Now let's have a look at what does that look like? Oof, a bit of a gust of wind there. Gadoomp. <laughs> nice. Awesome. So I'm really happy with that motion path like that. Now, one thing I want to do is the way I've specifically rigged this up. Now, if you want this ship, it is on Patreon, just to let you know. But what I've done is I've actually rigged up these landing gears. So I'm actually going to go right at probably this frame here. Let's go I to set the location. And then we're going to go 50 frames. It's going to come out GZZ and just come out the normals like so. And then as it comes into land, probably about here ish. Now I really should have rigged them individually, but uh, I'm okay with that for now. I'm going to press I to do a location rotation. And then when it lands, probably about this point here, let's do an alt G to reset the location. And we can kind of see like that. So let's fix that up. G Z Z. I'm only going off the far one. And then it's kind of like we've got some shockers come in. So we actually might, I reckon it'll be a smarter idea. It'll look a little bit better if we've actually just got the ship coming into land properly. So where are we is this is the ship here. You know what? Nah, it's going to look stupid. We have to fix it. I think at this frame here, we do an alt R. And then, yeah, now we can come back in, fix our landing gears here. So you, I could probably delete this keyframe. Pretty much perfect. Ah, oh, didn't even have to do anything. And we might just, now the reason why it's kind of bouncing around is because it, it's a uh, motioned on a Bezier curve, but with just a little bit of fiddling, she'll be right, mate. Hey, Jeez, Ed. there we go. Lovely. Perfect. I'm really happy with that.